real quick before we begin, I want to apologize for my voice. I'm very sick right now with a chest cold, and I probably shouldn't even be talking out loud for an extended period of time. But this topic came to my attention, and I could not pass it up. It is extremely interesting, so strap in and get ready. Before we begin and before you click off, I want to assure you that I think there is something worth talking about here. I heard about this mattress firm debacle when I went on the Moments tab of Twitter. People were sharing tweets about some conspiracy theory that mattress firm isn't actually a mattress store, but rather an elaborate money laundering operation. There were a few solid pieces of evidence pointing to this being true, and we're going to unpack them little by little. It began with a Reddit thread on Ask Reddit, one of the site's most popular subs with over 18.5 million subscribers. A user there posed a simple question. What conspiracy theory do you 100% buy into and why? Soon, the top comment on that thread with over 20,000 upvotes was someone claiming that Mattress Firm was part of a money laundering scheme. The poster goes on to explain how where they're at, they remembered seeing four of these stores all in the same four-way intersection. There's no way there's such a demand for mattresses, they said. And I believe they're right. He then shared a Google link that shows four mattress firm stores all within very close proximity of each other. Now, this could just be a funny coincidence, right? Well, let me ask you something. If you've ever driven by a mattress firm and taken a quick glance inside, do you remember seeing anyone in there? I used to live in the third largest city in North Carolina with a population of 287,000 as of 2016, and I passed one nearly every day heading into work. To be honest, I don't remember seeing anyone walking around the store, no one outside for a smoke. It was a ghost town. After reading all of this, I was getting a little spooked out myself. I was sure the overflow of mattress firm stores was something relegated to the big cities. To be sure, the town I'm living in now, with around 5,000 people, aren't the head of another sort of HQ, right? Well, I did a Google Maps search as well, setting my home as the starting point. Guys, there are 15 different mattress firm stores within a 15 to 30 minute drive. A quick editor's note that the screenshot you're seeing on screen now is a screenshot from a good friend of mine, Elder's Vault. I was telling him about this and he took this screenshot from me in his area. That is a lot of mattress firms. This of course spans farther than just my little town, but still. Now let's backtrack a little to the comment that sparked this whole debate. Well, it was deleted. Now, I'm not going to say that Mattress Firm caught wind of this and forced the poster to do so. That's silly. However, it is strange. Then again, he could have deleted it because of the insane amount of coverage it received. 26,500 upvotes is no joke. Since that comment was removed, however, we'll cover another one that made a very interesting point. The company that owns Mattress Firm, Steinhoff, was recently involved in accounting fraud. So to wrap this all up, I'm not going to force you into any conclusion about the company and their tactics or behaviors. Maybe they all have these stores because they're looking to monopolize the mattress industry. Maybe it's all ridiculous. Let me know what you think about this whole situation. Do you think it's a coincidence? Do you think I'm absolutely nuts? Or is there really something going on here? Until next time, stay strange, stay safe. And good night.